guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to bathe a horse. Um, there are a lot of different ways to bathe a horse, but this is just how I bathe my horse. And also keep in mind that during like this video, um, I'm just demonstrating how I do it, so it doesn't take me like three minutes to actually bathe my horse, you know what I mean? And this is just how I do it. There are a lot of different ways how to bathe a horse, but this is how I do it. And in this video, I did not really do much to her face, um, just because I was just demonstrating how I bathe, like, her body mainly. Um, usually, I'll just take, like, a sponge with water or whatever, and I'll wipe down her face, um, but I didn't really do much to her face in this video. And also, I am getting my riding dares together, finally, for my riding dares video, so comment some riding dares down below. And if you would like to follow me on any of my social media, it's always um, linked down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so to bathe blue jeans, I just used the Mane & Tail Shampoo and Conditioner, my gel curry, the water hose of course, and a sweat scraper. Okay, so the first thing I do is just rinse down her body, and today I am not doing anything to her face really. Just so you guys know, I usually will um, wash her face, but today I'm not. So I like to start from her lower legs and work my way up. That way the temperature doesn't really shock her. Um, it's kind of like how you're about to like get into a pool. You want to get in slowly instead of just jumping in so you can kind of get used to it. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing here. Now I just take my shampoo and put it all over her except for her face and I just curry her with my gel curry comb. And you're going to really want to concentrate on the areas where your tack goes. Next, I am just conditioning her mane and tail with the mane and tail conditioner. Okay, so now it's time to rinse her off, and I, again, start from the bottom and work my way up just to get her used to it again, but when I am t trying to rinse off the shampoo and conditioner, I start from the top and work my way down, that way the shampoo and conditioner run off of her. And you want to be sure to get all of the shampoo and conditioner off of them, because if it sits on their skin, it will really irritate it. Next I just use a sweat scraper to get all of the excess water off of her. So yeah, that's how I bathe my horse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!